If you're the type of person that doesn't mind doing electrical work around the house, like changing a light fixture, a switch, or an outlet, here's something you can do to make those jobs a whole lot easier. What is this thing you can do? Well, what's the first thing you need to do before working on anything electrical? You need to turn the power off so you don't get electrocuted. You do that by turning the breaker off at the electrical panel, right? I don't know about you, but before, every time I go to turn the power off or somewhere, it's damn near a guessing game. Is this bedroom one or bedroom two? Or you can't read the label because it's too small or it looks like a blind man wrote something on it. Sometimes it wasn't labeled in the panel because there's no room to label anything. So let me show you the best way to solve this labeling issue. Now it will take a little time to make this, but trust me, once it's done, Every time an electrical job comes up, you'll have no problem turning off the right breaker. Let me show you. Look at this. When you open the electrical panel door, it's right there. A layout of the house that shows every outlet numbered, every switch numbered, and every light numbered to its proper breaker. So say I'm going to replace the light fixture in this bedroom to a ceiling fan. I can easily see it's the number 17 breaker. It gets no easier than that, folks. The hardest part of this is taking the time to make this. But once it's done, finding the right breaker will never be an issue. You don't need to get all fancy like I did. You can draw out the house on a regular piece of paper. Heck, you can even have one page for every room. I put a red dot for the outlets, yellow dot for the light fixture, and a green dot for the switches. To find out what goes to what breaker, the first thing you need to do is number the breakers. I just use a sharpie and put a number next to each breaker. Some breaker panels already have a number etched into it already that you can use, but I find it a little bit confusing, so I just wrote my own anyways. Now, if you're by yourself, you can use a fancy breaker finder like this. This part, you plug into the outlet. It sends a signal to the breaker, letting you know what breaker it is. You could go the cheaper route and plug a light to the outlet. Flip one breaker, then go check if the light turned off. If it does, that's the breaker to that outlet. If it doesn't, turn the breaker you just turned off back on and try the next one. The good thing about doing it this way is that you'll get your steps in for the year. <laughs> you could also plug a radio into the outlet and turn up the volume. When you hear it turn off, You'll know that's the breaker. The thing is, who the heck has a plug-in radio these days? If you have a helper, you can plug in a light and use cell phones to communicate. They can also tell you if the light controlled by the switch in the room turns off. When you identify the breaker, write the number of the breaker on the layout of what you just identified. When you're done numbering the layout, you can attach the image somewhere next to the panel. Now, I shrunk the image and taped it to the panel. I'm not gonna tell you to do this because it's probably a code fire violation. I don't know. If you do know, leave it in the comments below for me and the world to know. Now, what I am gonna tell you to do is attach it to the wall next to it. You can tape a Ziploc bag to the wall and put the image in it, or you can put it in the picture frame and hang it next to it. Simple enough, right? Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you found some value in it. Now help me out, hit that like, bell, and subscribe button for me. Until next time, stay blessed my people. Peace.